Okay, in this uh, video, I'm going to review the virtual mart configuration, and I'm also going to show you on the front end how to just different options for displaying your virtual mart products in Joomla. If you click on a configuration here, and then the first tab is shop. Um, most of these things uh, I don't even touch, but if so, if you don't know what it is, I would not recommend uh, touching it. Other things are going to be self explanatory, and you can um, safely uh, play around with some of these. The um, use only as a catalog if you're not, if you don't need the cart functionality and you just want to display products. If you click on the shop front tab, um, I usually change this to products out of stock are orderable, no special action. Um, I'm not. Uh, if you if you're selling on eBay or you have a brick and mortar shop, it might be difficult to um, track your stock unless you're keeping uh, different groups of stock. Uh, otherwise, you'd constantly be updating your cart here. It would probably be easier if you just run out of stock to um, just uh, temporarily deactivate that specific product uh, until you get more stock in, rather than um, uh, constantly checking your your inventory, to, managing your inventory to make sure your numbers are correct here. Um, some of these uh, I've mentioned before I don't like the shopper review rating system uh, I don't want to uh, worry about spam comments or um, or manage that or review different comments so it's easier just to turn it off the templates um, you don't need to really mess with that there's different um, layout configurations here if you want to change that around um, the, you can leave everything that says default as the default here and leave these paths alone um, this this by default they're not all checked I will check them all um, if you don't check this one the um, the countries and states won't won't work when you're when you're checking out and you want to click uh, United States and then you try to select Florida it won't let you so you need to have your country's regions turned on there the thumbnail width is another one you can change I like 200 by 200 that's for the front end of the site if the customer wants to see a big picture they can just click on that thumbnail and see the big picture um, but that's not too big or too small um, the pricing I mentioned before that I don't like the final sales price that's showing the tax included price if you don't if you're just running a wholesale site only and you're not charging taxes then uh, that's not gonna affect the price um, but if you do have taxes um, the only way to show uh, in the in the cart before the before the checkout you'll just show the um, the uh, the sales price without tax and then Obviously, when they go to the checkout at the cart, they'll see the tax. The checkout tab, um, selected shipment, and enable automatic selected payment. If you only have one uh, one um, shipment method, like we did in this tutorial, then um, that would be that would be the option to choose there. Um, even though we have more than one payment option, it doesn't. It's not going to hurt you by checking it. Um, you know, if you don't have any terms, then leave these unchecked. Uh, ask for registration, but you don't force them to, or if you want to force them to, then you can force them to register as well. Um, if they don't register when they get their invoice uh, email and they lose it, they'll have to call you um, if they want to get that information again. They can't just log into their account and retrieve it. Um, show the checkout steps is kind of on step one, step two. It's not really necessary in the it's just distracting so I leave that unchecked and show product images even though I have it checked I haven't been able to get it to work that might be a glitch in 2.02 um, or maybe I just haven't figured it out yet but so let's look at some of those in in the back end in real life um, select shipment I have more than one shipment method here so um, it's showing all of them if I only had one if I delete the rest of these it would just let's say I just had free shipping only in the back end then it would it, it would automatically select that for me because I, I chose the automatic select and the same with PayPal um, I have two different payment options um, if I only had PayPal uh, for example it would automatically select that for me because I had ticked these two boxes um, product order settings sort available sort by fields and available search fields some people like to search from price greatest to highest or lowest to highest um, and other ways of searching so whatever you want to make available to your uh, visitors on your site you can just tick those boxes um, the SEO it's uh, just gonna add a little suffix I think to the URL 
Um, I haven't really investigated that much, but it doesn't look like too many SEO options there. Um, if you do need to do SEO, you can just probably add the meta to the products or to your Joomla pages or your Joomla menu. Okay, so let's get into uh, Joomla and see how we can display um, this. Okay, this last menu, the tools button, I wouldn't um, I wouldn't use these too much unless you know what you're doing. The same thing with the update found. Um, it seems simple enough, but you may update it and then find you don't like the results or there's something not working. Um, in general, if your site's configured the way you like it and it's working, you might not want to update it every time you see an update. Um, just in case something does go wrong, um, you might not be happy with the results. I, I highly, highly, highly recommend backing up your site before you do ever think about doing an update um, by doing backup now um, and backing it up. And if you were to do a Virtumart update, there's another button here underneath components, Virtumart here, which will allow you to update the latest version. In general, I advise not to do it and, um, unless there's a specific component or plugin that was added that you're trying to get that, that you want that feature on your site but if like I said if your your shopping carts already working the way you like it to um, and there's nothing broken on it you might not want to update the the virtual mark um, the uh, the um, the next thing I want to show you though is um, about displaying content you might want to display, for example, a menu button which links just to one specific product. Maybe you don't have eight or nine products and you only want to show one product. So let's go to um, the menu here, the main menu, and we'll do under shop store. Um, this is currently, if we go to this button here, um, this is currently displaying as a category, fish tanks this uh, demo only has uh, two categories and fish tank happens to be one of them the but we're gonna change that uh, let's go to shop store and here you can change the type of button that it is and you'll see there's all kind of Joomla content categories articles uh, contacts iframes you can make it a link you can really make that button anything that you want from any of these options here and some of these options wouldn't be appropriate like list orders that's for maybe administrator access only um, so you wouldn't want to make that available to the general public but specifically you might want to make a, a product details layout and that's gonna show a specific product so let's say we wanted to just show that fish tank only so we're gonna click save and it's as easy as that uh, to change it we're gonna click uh, refresh here on this page okay and there we go so now when we click on shop store we get the specifically directly to the the fish tank product and that could be your home page if you just have one product for sale um, let's go to let's go back and we can change it again if we wanted to make it let's pr say for example uh, category layout which is what we had it before we had it as a fish tanks but let's say this time we want to show all the categories uh, from, from the parent category, the top level. So we want to show the filters and the fish tank, the two categories together. So we're going to click Save, and uh, then we're going to refresh this page again, and you'll see it, the, the way it looks has changed again. What you see here is the, the two categories, which you can drill down and get into the specific products, and then you see all the products for those two categories below. So if we were to drill down into that, um, you'd see just the fish tanks so you can go back and you could drill down and go just into the filters and see just the filters products um, or you can see all of them uh, from that page um, and there's uh, if, if you dig around you'll see there's other ways to configure it as well um, it's highly flexible this would look a lot better if you had assigned images to those categories and possibly even descriptions okay the last thing I want to show you is in the uh, the home page of this uh, demo website we're not actually displaying any Joomla content. This is a, a module. Um, it's a virtual mart module. So if we go to the back end under extensions module manager, we'll see the type of module is a virtual mart products. And we've got that assigned to the top content, which is right here in this uh, area. Um, similar to where the main body Joomla content would normally go. Uh, we can click, let's open that up. And we've titled it latest products. You can really title it anything you want. You can call it uh, most popular products, random products, or featured products. Um, 
in reality, you can display featured products, latest products, random products, or, or best sales with this uh, module. You can show the price and you can select the category. In this case, we're uh, choosing to randomly display nine different products from the top parent, from, from all of our categories using the top level category option here. Um, and you can, uh, a lot of these configuration is self explanatory. Um, the way we were able to display that module um, and make it appear to be part of the main body content where normally Joomla content would be displayed was um, because in the in the main menu uh, on the home page uh, it's been assigned to articles featured Joomla articles um, but it those it, it's 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 a uh, it's uncategorized uh, category and we haven't actually published any articles to that category and all everything's showing up zeros here so in actuality um, uh, nothing's being displayed had we actually